Hey guys, what's going on? Tubu Cruise here with... Pyong Des! We're here with Tunchan in Nagoya, Japan, and today we're going to be testing out some new bikes! So today we're going to be doing a first look and test ride of the new BMC 2021 Road Machine SLR bikes. And we've got two models here for each of us to test ride today. Today's going to be a really exciting day. So which one are you going to ride today? Blue! Blue! Yeah! So Tunchan is going to be riding the Midnight Blue. This is the SLR 01, one of the top of the line BMC models here. And it's a beautiful blue color. And for me, I'm going to be riding this sort of Halloween orange color here. This one's really cool. I've never ridden an orange bike before. So this is the SLR 013. I'm riding the 54 size. And for me, I'm about 183 centimeters, so a little bit over six feet, but I'm able to barely fit on the 54. It's just the right size for me, but I could go up to a size 56. So anyway, let's go over the specs really quick before we go out on our test ride. If you're just interested in the ride, I'll leave a timestamp link down below so you can skip right to the ride part if you want. One of the first important things to know about the BMC SLR01 model is the integrated cockpit system, also known as the ICS system. So you don't see any cables coming out of the handlebar or stem part of this bike here, a really sleek setup. And both of the bikes that we're test riding today are disc bikes, by the way. And this bike is stocked with standard Shimano Ultegra. One of the other unique points about the BMC SLR series is the lower rear triangle back here. And also they have the D-shaped seat post as well, which is technology that they've been using for a long time. It also comes complete with the Physique saddle up front. And this is the top view of the handlebar up here. The other cool thing I like about it is this integrated adapter here. So you can easily put in your cycle computer in there or adapt like a GoPro, which is great for me because I'm always filming videos. So that's enough of the SLR 014. Next, let's move on to my bike, which I'm riding today, which is the SLR 013. And I love this bike. I call it the Halloween bike just because, yeah, it's bright orange and you don't see too many bright orange uh, mixed with black bikes here. And this one, it's the same frame. It's just a different color and some of the components are a little bit different. So we've got the sleek handlebar setup as well. The same cycle computer adapter up front. You'll notice I have my seat post really high up. I'm actually 183 centimeters tall, so just a little bit over six feet tall. And normally I would ride a size 56 bike, but since we're in Japan, they don't really have any size 56 test bikes. And I, I can sort of squeeze in on the 54, but normally I probably should ride a 56. So that's the reason why my seat post is so tall. But whenever people see me riding here in Japan with a seat post this tall, they always say it looks really cool. So um, I guess that works. And this is with the wireless setup here. So this is the SRAM Force 12 speed group set. One of the last things I want to mention before we start our ride is some of the changes to the 2021 model of the SLR series. And that is the frame has gotten a little bit more aerodynamic. So it's starting to mix the technology of aero frames and lightweight frames. So it's got a more flat profile on the top here of the down tube and then it angles more down on the bottom. And because of this flat profile, it's able to get this different style water bottle in here closer into the frame. So when you have your water bottle in here like us, it won't take out as much area sticking out of the frame as it would on a normal older style bike. Anyway, that's enough of the first look of the bikes. Let's take them out for a spin. Let's go. Let's go. So these road bikes are a little bit nicer than what we're used to. Anyway, let's go out for our ride. We are filming here at this little park that we came across. And I'm not too familiar with this area. We're currently in Komaki. All right, so here we are starting our ride. We're in Komaki City in the north of Nagoya, Japan. I'm not too familiar with this area, but we're gonna be rolling around, see what we can find while we're on these bikes. and. These bikes are meant to go fast. These are BMC's top racing bikes, one of their <laughs> lightest bikes. So uh, we're going to try and find a little hill around here, but unfortunately I don't think there's too many hills. But when I'm in this bike and uh, it just feels so fast, the acceleration is ridiculous. So the bike I normally ride is an aluminum road bike, which is really old, so I'm not used to these awesome accelerations on these carbon bikes. So yeah, so far this bike has a really nice aggressive responsive type feeling. 
I love these types of race bikes. It's really nice riding this and man, that hub sound while you're coasting, just love it. I'm not really familiar with this area, but it looks like there's a hill nearby and I wanna go over there and check that out and test out the performance of this going uphill because I mean, you can test out this bike on the flats and of course gonna feel really nice, really responsive, but I think this type of bike really performs on a climb. So we're gonna try and find a nice little climb right here. This is a really nice little area. It's really urbanized over here. So I saw on the maps, there's this nice little patch of green. It looks like there's a kind of hill. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to ride our bikes in here, but we're gonna try. And what is this? We got a mega Don Quixote here. This is like the super crazy variety store here in Japan. You can get almost anything there. So far, I haven't seen any roads that allow us to go in there. Everything's blocked off. Yeah, we might not be able to get in there with bikes. It looks like it's just for pedestrians. I was hoping they'd have a road that would go in there. I guess not. Oh well, let's turn over here on the side road. This looks nice. So we'll do a just nice little urban ride here in Japan in the city. Right by the riverside. Gorgeous. So I often get asked on the channel, like when's the best time to come cycling in Japan? And I would say around now is the best time. End of October, October, December area. The weather really cools down. It's a little cold, but not too cold. And you get some beautiful sights along the way. Great time for cycling. And yeah, I'm surprised to see all this nature here. This, this area is like really urbanized everywhere else. You don't see much. Let's, let's just keep looping around here. <laughs> Again, this is a whole new area to me. But the other nice thing about these loud hubs is it really lets pedestrians know <laughs> you're behind them. And oh, these electric shifters are nice. The SRAM Force electronic shifters. I literally feel like I'm just floating around. I'm not putting any effort in. I've just, I don't even think my heart rate's gone up at all using this bike. Oh, I think you're getting away, car. Let's turn. Oh yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Get some. <laughs> Cute little house. Is that a house or business? So we're gonna start looping our way back. We have to make our way back to the, the bike shop where we got this. There's actually a demo day going on for BMC. They got a demo booth at the local bike shop here. And that used to be my job here in Japan, actually. I used to work for the BMC distributor here. so. I used to work these demo days. I worked this demo day last year, but this year I came as a participant, which is nice. And it's always fun to try riding in these different areas in Japan. Like, even though we live here in Nagoya, this is more of the Masaga. This is more of the northern part of Nagoya. We live more on the eastern part, so it's completely different here. It's a lot more congested here, a lot closer together. You can see these tiny little narrow roads. Fortunately, our area is more modern, so we have a lot wider roads. But these areas are nice because you got some hidden little gems like this everywhere. And yeah, again, literally this bike is just flying. <laughs> I don't feel like I've needed to put any effort into today's ride at all. Yeah. yeah. The disc brakes are nice. Oh, check out that tree. That must be ancient. But seriously, like check out that massive tree. Check out all these tiny little narrow roads. We've got the highway here. We actually came by highway today. We were only on the highway for 30 minutes and it was an $8 toll. The highways here are no joke, pretty expensive. But yeah, we got all this congested here. Here we are back on the main road. And you saw we went from that nice green area 
to the tiny little narrow roads to the super crazy congested roads. It's the weekend, weekend traffic. This is what we have for our drive home today. Not looking forward to it, but at least we got to come out here, test out some fun bikes. Ramen, great on a cold day like today. BMW. Yeah, I think these loud hubs should be installed on all road bikes as like a security feature. It just lets people know you're behind them. I liked her sweatshirt. <laughs> We're gonna turn right here and then we should be coming to the shop. Migi de hidari. There we go, this road's not as traveled. Not too many cars on here. And we're making our way back to the shop. I'll show you the full BMC booth here, but overall, yeah, I've ridden the SLR bikes before. And as always, this feels like a top-notch, high-performance bike. And I'd love to take it out on a more diverse kind of course next time when we have more time. And this is a shop that we came to today, Kamihagi Cycle. We filmed a, a full tour video here. So if you want to check out the inside of the shop, you can check out our last video. And it's one of the more popular bike shops here in the Nagoya area. <laughs> so before we finish up today's video, let's take a quick look at some of the remaining models they have here for the demo day. This is an SLR4, size 47. A nice blue with some red decal on here. Always love a blue and red combo bike. So also here we've got some of the rim SLRs. This is an SLR02. I think this is one of the 2020 models. We've got one of the gravel bikes here. This is the BMC Earth. We've also got the Road Machine X, stealth black gravel bike. And we've got a Road Machine here. This is one of their more comfort endurance style road bikes, but this is also a performance beast. It's one of my favorite bikes from the BMC lineup. And we've got the aluminum model here. This is their new color, the 2021 black and gold. The black and gold bikes are really popular now. This is another one of the really popular BMC bikes. This is the BMC Time Machine Road, and I love this color. Red bikes are always fast. All right, that's it for today's video. Let's finish with some final impressions. Yeah, so unfortunately today's ride a little bit short. We can't keep the bikes out too long. They have other customers waiting to try out the bikes, but we had a great time testing out some of the bikes from BMC. If there's any other bikes that you'd like us to do a review for, for us to do a test ride on, let us know down below in the comments and we'll try and ride one if we have an opportunity to moving forward. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Please be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time here on T-Wheel Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.